Okay, so it's May 2020 and I have a lot of freebies and tutorials to share with you today. So if you're new to my channel, each month I do a freebie and tutorial roundup. I share all the freebies that I found while I was scouring the internet, everything that I think might be useful or helpful in your work. And I also share with you all the tutorials that I worked on over the previous month. So if you wanna see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. So first we have the motion graphics ebook from Matthias Muhl at a company called Mama World. This guy is a genius. All the plugins and tools he creates for Adobe After Effects are absolutely amazing. I own a bunch of them. I've done tutorials on a bunch of them. And then I've read the first few chapters of this book. It's really great. He goes into design theory. He talks about color in motion graphics, using sound, doing storyboarding, and it's all free. And there's a lot of video content in the actual ebook and he links to other tools that he creates. So it doesn't really matter if you're new to After Effects or you're an advanced user, you're probably gonna be able to pull something out of this free resource. And if you do wanna check out some of his premium plugins, I highly recommend them. All right, next up. The British Museum put 1.9 million images online for public use under a Creative Commons license. So there's also a link in here to the Smithsonian who released 2.8 8 million images into the public domain back in February. Oh, well, cool. The Paris Museum did the same thing in January. There's a ton of images. Just go check them out. And I actually went to the little database here. Check this out. The Rosetta Stone. If you're ever in London and you get the chance to go to the British Museum, do it. So the Sundance Institute is doing a lot to help filmmakers during this pandemic. It looks like they just announced that they're giving filmmakers access to their entire library of master classes and webinars entirely for free. Okay, previously priced at $75, these recordings feature leading creators offering insight into many different aspects of the film industry from financing to artistic activism. So you can check out the Duplass brothers on the $3 film, art as activism, crowdfunding strategies with Kickstarter. I haven't checked any of these out, but looks pretty cool. So there's an audio engineer created this free sound effects pack. Apparently he spent some time destroying fruits and vegetables to create some high quality sound effects that he's giving away for free. Looks like there's a couple of other free things on here. And at the bottom, there's a donate button. So buy this guy a coffee, give him something. So I had a really interesting video pop up on my YouTube recommended. And it's from a guy named Matt Sears. I'll link in the video description to his channel as well. But he made a tutorial about how he made this hallucination effect inside of Adobe After Effects. But not only did he show you how he did it, there's also a free template in there. And I don't know how this guy doesn't have more views. This is pretty cool. I also noticed something else on YouTube. Um, there's a good friend of mine named Vladimir. He creates tools for Adobe After Effects. Um, I promote some of them and market some of them on my website. But I noticed on his YouTube channel that he has, he, he did a giveaway here back in November 2019. It says 250 free elements for After Effects and Premiere Pro. I haven't really tested this link out yet um, to see if it's still available, but I'm assuming it is. So I'm gonna share this down there. So go check it out and let me know what you think. And if you like it, Leave him a comment, like, share that. All right, so let's look at some of the videos and tutorials that I put together this past month, which was a lot. So I, in my last video, I mentioned that I got some sponsorship deals and I've been getting some equipment, so I wanna get more into gear reviews. Well, I've partnered up with a few companies, um, mainly Blackmagic and Angelbird, and for this month, I, I did some reviews for their products. Um, Angelbird Technologies is this really great company that makes high-end media cards, and they sent me some media cards for my new Blackmagic cameras. So I um, did reviews of both of their match packs. I have a match pack for my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K as well as my Ursa Mini Pro. I did standalone reviews for both of those. And I also took a closer look at their cool CFast card reader. So, and I actually sought them out. I kind of um, sent them a number of emails trying to make this partnership deal happen. And they were nice enough um, to send me some gear and sponsor these videos. So thank you, Angelbird. Now regarding the Blackmagic cameras, I did a silly little video called the Han Solo Rig showing you my handheld setup for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. I really dig this camera. It's super hard to shoot handheld in my opinion. I don't have a gimbal. I might dip my toes into that gimbal world. But right now I have this Han Solo, what I call the Han Solo Rig setup. So if you want to see more about that, go check out that video. It's showing you how I have like, it's a really minimal rig that you can run around with quickly 
I did a piece for the Shutterstock tutorial channel. It's called Documentary Tips for Solo Filmmakers. More specifically, it's about how to shoot the Cinema Vera Tay style. And that was a really fun piece to, to put together. Um, I actually made that a few months ago. We shot it in the middle of Paris. It was a lot of fun to make. So if you're into any kind of documentary filmmaking or if you just want to learn more about the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K G2 camera, be sure to check that video out. Also regarding that camera, I did a piece for Premium Beat where I take the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K and I compare it with the Ursa Mini Pro G2 4.6K. Man, these names are so long. I compare them as handheld rigs, trying to figure out which one's better and which features um, are stronger on each particular camera. So if you're considering buying either of those, you, you wanna check that video out. And regarding After Effects tutorials, I put together four pieces here. The first one is about extruding maps in Adobe After Effects using the GeoLayers plugin. This is a really higher end plugin, it's more expensive, but if you want to get into map animations inside of After Effects, this is one of the tools that you just have to have. It's so amazing. It's the most powerful by far. I haven't even found one that even really competes with it. I recently partnered up with Motion Ray and I have access to their library now. Each month I'm going to try to look at some of their templates. This month I looked at one called 73 Maps and Geo Icons and it, I was really impressed by it. And Motion Array has a really, really good deal if you want to take a closer look at it. I actually have an affiliate link that I'll leave in the video description. So if you sign up for that, I get a commission. Um, but it's really, in my opinion, if you use a certain number of assets or you want access to a certain number of assets each month, it's really worth the money. It's um, $29 a month, but you get unlimited downloads to their library. And that includes um, royalty-free music, sound effects, After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, Final Cut templates, DaVinci Resolve templates. Adobe introduced new tapered shape strokes for After Effects. So I did a tutorial piece on that. I animated a little airplane added some flames shooting out of the engines as well as some contrails. I created all that using the, those new tapered shape strokes so I could you know give them a test run and see how I like them and they look pretty cool and watching some other tutorials um, that were created like plants growing and all the cool things that and creative things that people are doing with this new tool. Another really fun tutorial that I put together is all about how to animate and loop an object along a path. So I basically took the 24 hours of Le Mans logo and I put the racetrack around the logo and then animated a little lips icon um, to go, you know, to kind of loop around that racetrack. That was a lot of fun. I used the script um, inside of After Effects that's create nulls from paths. I haven't really used this script that much, so I wanted to play around with it. There's a particular feature in there called Trace Paths that's extremely powerful. That script, once again, is free. It's in a version 2017 and later, so it's kind of relatively new, but man, is it super powerful, and I'm gonna be playing with that much more. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like and leave me a comment in the comment section. That really helps the channel out. And I do these roundups every month, so if you want to see more of them, just subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And I've also already produced two, so if you want to check back in the library and go watch those, there's just a bunch of assets and tutorials waiting to be watched and downloaded. All right, I'll see you in the next one.